I don't want to be just an anomaly. I don't want to be, you know, the only one breaking ceilings. I want there to be other women, minority, anybody. Lauren Simmons is the youngest woman to be a full-time broker on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Well, usually I'll say, I, yeah, I work in the New York Stock Exchange. Oh, what do you do, an equity trader? And they're shocked, but you know, the perception is, and especially in a lot of finance movies, Wolf of Wall Street, they are white, older men. And so to be 24 now and to be, you know, a minority and a woman, it, it is, it takes people, you know, a second to realize like, oh, wow, you have an awesome job. <laughs> Lauren is just one of two female brokers on the floor. With there being another person that is different from everyone else, it does bring diversity and new conversations and new breath to the floor. As far as looking towards to a mentor that looks like you, obviously that's that's not gonna happen. I, you know, I'm grateful that I do get to work with men that do want me to succeed. Richard Rosenblatt, my boss, the CEO of the company, he has given me so much career advice outside of the exchange floor. The New York Stock Exchange itself doesn't hire brokers. Individual securities firms do. Rosenblatt Securities hired Lauren in March 2017. She had a degree in genetics, but no prior experience in finance. I couldn't care less if she took finance classes. We, we do research, and I care a lot about your education to be an analyst for us. Here, I care about who you are as a person. When Lauren's story was first reported on in March 2018, there was a media storm, and she felt like change was happening. But when Rosenblatt Securities posted a new broker position in May, of over 250 applicants, not a single woman applied. Now, I have spoken with executive women who will say that they'll post a job and you know, the qualifications, 10 years experience, and blah, 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 blah. And the woman will have, you know, everything but the 10 years and will say, well, I don't have the 10 years, should I apply? You're more than overqualified to apply for this their job, please apply for it. While as men, again, what I've learned from them, they just do it. We have women applying for other jobs on the floor. I don't know why more women don't apply for jobs on the floor of the exchange. According to a 2017 study by Stanford University, men comprised 75% of the wealth management field and filled more than 80% of leadership roles. I think it definitely is a, is a confidence thing in just doing it. When you are in a space where you are extremely uncomfortable and you, you know, you're fear driven and you still take, take the leap, that's when the biggest growth happens. So I think if more women were, were risk adverse and they took the chance, um, you would see a lot more women breaking glass ceilings and these stories just being a thing, not a, not a oh my gosh moment, it, it would be normalized. Lauren is only the second African-American female broker in the exchange's 226 year history. There's a difference on trying to have diversity because that's the hot topic word right now than actually implementing diversity. And the only way to implement diversity is to really truly want diversity. It's so easy to throw around a word and you'll know, you'll know in those leadership roles who is sitting at the top of, the top are all five white men, how diverse is it really? I can't put it all on the, the men and the firms on the floor, especially when it's not 100% their fault if they don't get any applicants. And I can't put it all on minorities or people who, you know, didn't grow up, you know, learning finance because what you don't know, you're not going to apply for. You're just not exposed to it. So where does that start? Lauren believes it could start with the next generation. Honestly, I think things like traditional Wall Street won't even be a thing. I think people will get tired of people in leadership and how they don't give them the opportunity and they'll write their own narrative. They'll write their own, they'll make their own hedge fund and, and every one part of that hedge fund will be diverse. Next up for Lauren's story, the big screen. Actress Kiersey Clemens is set to play Lauren in a biopic about her journey to the New York Stock Exchange.